We're reading every Spider-Man ever and this is Not Brand Eck Issue 2. J. Jawbone Junkton, who looks surprisingly like J. Jonah Jameson, learns that Spider-Man is in town and he's mad about it. To get away from it all, he visits a diner, but all the specials are about Spidey and the radio is giving away Spider-Man posters, so he takes an axe to it and storms out. When he tries a relaxing drive, the lizard runs out of the sewer chased by Spider-Man and they run all over Junkton's car. He can't even get away from the hero at home since the TV is airing the adventures of Spidey-Man and when he settles down for some bedtime reading, a Spidey insert pops out at him and he has had enough. He calls up Natman and Rotten for help. Rotten is eager to help, for the fame and the glory, and think of the residuals. And so, after Jawbone works through mountains of legal paperwork, he officially hires the heroes, and he gives them their task, get rid of Spidey-Man. Spidey-Man, Natman and Robin yell, but he fights for keeps. But they signed a contract, and they're legally bound to help. They find Spidey on a wall reading. When they try to trip him, at the last moment Spidey ducks to grab a button from the ground and Natman squashes Rotten instead. When they try to hit him with a brick wrapped in a glove, Spidey decides to snooze on a wall above them and Rotten hits Natman instead. When they try a mallet, Spidey is distracted by his aunt dating Doc Ock and Rotten flattens Natman and has to pump him back up. When they try a gas, they just end up fighting each other as Spidey takes pictures from above. But just when Natman thinks he'll never beat Spidey-Man, Spidey swings away but forgets to attach his web to anything and crashes to the ground. Natman calls up Jawbone. Spidey-Man is definitely DC, which stands for definitely clobbered and nothing else, and he claims his reward money. Jawbone is happy to be rid of the menace, but the next day he sees Natman symbols everywhere and gets run over by Natman and Rotten as they chase a villain, and sees them on the news and swinging outside of his window. He has just replaced one superhero with a worse one. We end the story with Jawbone in the park, searching for Spider-Man, and Peter Pooper, his alter ego, enjoying his free time with Mary Jane Watson and Gwen Stacy, or whatever nonsense name the comic would give them. Thanks for watching, there's a new one of these every Thursday and while we wait for the next issue, here's a fun fact about this one. Amongst all the lawyers that came into Jawbone's office, did you spot two familiar faces? There's Matt Murdock and Foggy Nelson. Working for DC?